I'm Josh with Skid Pro. Today we're looking at our post pounder puller. This attachment does take a little bit of seat time and so we're going to go over a few quick pointers to shorten your learning curve. So the first step after I hit on my auxiliary hydraulics is I raise the hammer. Oh, it's on grapple. So I switch here on my hand, now it's on the hammer. I lift the hammer out of the way, now I switch back. Now I open the grapple. Now I'm gonna reach forward. Grab that, I put as little pressure as I can and possible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and till all the way back. Open up. And, and let the post fall all the way into that corner. When it's into that corner, I'll secure it. And then we'll drive to our location where we're going to pump. We've hit our marked hole. We're going to lean that tilt back, put the post on the ground, and I'm going to open my grapple jaws. And now I want to position this in my striking position. So I'm going to go all the way back. I'm going to drive backwards. There we go. I want just that much, about six inches or less, to be above the post. Now I'm going to tighten up my grapple again because a big part of this post driver is using the weight of the machine and the loader arms for added down pressure. Now I got my grapple tight, now I'm going to switch my hand control again here and now I'm running the hammer. So I'm going to push down into the hole and lift up, keeping plumb. And now I'm going to start striking. Raise up. Now I'm going to go readjust, put added down pressure with the machine. Now I'm going to pound again. My grapple holds as long as I lift. Now you want to use full strokes the better, but sometimes when you go all the way back it does rock a little bit. So sometimes I'll start just a little bit short at the top. And again, I adjust. And I hammer. Now when I've got it to the desired distance, now I'll switch. Now my grapple is the main. I'm going to put, I'm going to lift up slightly. Take the pressure off, and then I open the grapple, and I back away. You can put these, this controller wherever you want. I prefer it close. We zip tie it real quick here. This is the universal. This is the easiest way. You can buy a, a machine specific control if you want to use the existing buttons on your cab, but most this universal system comes standard with the pounder. So that's the easiest thing is to remember it's twofold. We're putting down pressure on the post with the weight of the machine and the loader once it's gripped tightly and then we run the hammer. your tutorial on fence building. So I'll show again. What I like to do is back up, 
I'm gonna open their jaws. I got the post tilt top tilted further back than the bottom. That way it fits in the cradle. Now I can slide my loader arms up, drive back a little bit. I'll keep that exact right three to four inches. Now I got that tight. Now I'll drive forward. I use my chain, my chain plumb there at the bottom. I can see how that works with my that chain dangling right there. It tells me I'm pretty level. And I, again, I'm adding down pressure. You can see the skid loader increases, and in, uh, it's I'm lifting the front off. That's when I know I got enough. Now I'm switching to the hammer. be careful when you're applying down pressure on the loader you're doing it in a vertical fashion without side torque so you won't shear your post there you go I readjust it again you'll be able to pound much faster if you have added down pressure on your post. Now I'm finished. I'm going to switch back and I'm going to open up and you can see I fall off and the post is put in. The great thing about the post pounder is once you get the hang of it, it is way faster than augering holes and then having to tamp and get all the dirt set, it's also a lot easier and it's true one-man operation.